Hola mi amores, thank you for tuning into Tavian Lamar Beauty. Today's video is gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna be getting ready. I got to do some grocery shopping later on and we're gonna be doing a first impressions. I have a bunch of new products that I haven't used. I'm sure you've heard of them. So I just wanna test them out as we go. I don't really have a look planned, but that's when I'm the most creative, when I just kind of freehand things. Um, I'm not really gonna be going into detail about where I'm putting it, why I'm putting it there, because I have several other videos explaining that. This video is gonna be more of a talk through as I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, come get ready with me. By the way, I don't know why I felt like I should be voguing in this little outfit, but this outfit is from Fashion Nova. It's a bodysuit and it's gorgeous. Like who doesn't love a flower print moment, baby? Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I've already moisturized off camera. The first product that I'm gonna be using is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. It looks something like this. As you can see, I've already dipped into it. So I'm just going to lightly apply this all over. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use this, but I'm guessing with your fingers because there's really no other way. And I really don't know how much is too much, so I'm just kind of slathering it on my face. Learn from my mistakes. So tonight, we are having a crab boil. I don't know about you guys, but I have been craving crab for the longest time. So I went out and I bought like two pounds of um, snow crab. I bought some jumbo shrimp, corn, hot sausage red skin potatoes and i have to go get some old bay seasoning because what is a crab boil without old bay seasoning next i'm going to be taking some iconic london illuminator drops this is comparable to me um what i think of is the cover effects illuminating drops kind of the same thing a highlighter liquid formula in a bottle so i just like to put a little bit everywhere before i put on my foundation <gasps> So yeah, definitely don't do that. <laughs> so now because I don't know how much is too much, we're really just gonna kind of see. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my foundation. This is from Wet n Wild in the color Espresso. Because I'm cafecito, my skin is brown. I'm a morenito. And just put it everywhere. And honestly, you don't have to put as much foundation as me. I just like a lot of coverage. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start stippling that foundation in with the illuminating drops and hopefully this makes my skin nice and luminous rather than like super oily looking or shiny because we don't want to look like a tin man honey I just want some luminous looking skin oh wow so already it's giving me that effect that I want it's looking very illuminated when I turn to the side it looks very dewy and I really like that skin finish I don't know about you guys, but I love testing out new makeup. I like diving in with it. I've never been one that's like scared um, to buy a product or use a product because I've never used it before. Um, if it doesn't work out, you can always wipe it off. It's no big deal, guys. I love putting foundation all over my lips because when I do my lips later on, it gives me a gray base to work off of. I never really let my curls down in these videos, but I'm like, you know what? I got curls for the girls, so I'm gonna give it to them, baby. You know what they say, baby? The bigger the hoop, the bigger the heart. I learned to put a little bit of the leftover foundation on my ears from Bretman Rock, so thank you, Bretman, for that. And it actually is just like a, I, I just like a uniformed look. I'm not mad at it. By the way, how do you guys like the quality of my video now? I'm coming to you in 4K, so my video quality should be a lot better, hopefully. Now you can already tell that my skin is very illuminated. It looks very, like this is what I want. I want luminous. It looks beautiful to finish. Now, now that I'm done with my base, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. I'll be right back. All right, guys, now I'm back. I've already concealed my brows. I got them laid and slayed. So this new product that I'm gonna be using is the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. A lot of you guys know about this product. Jeffree Star stands by it. Other beauty gurus stand by it. 
Um, I'm really excited to try this. It makes your eyeshadow more pigmented and last longer. I've already used it on the left side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into it with a flat angled brush like so. And I'm gonna get really close, up close and personal. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend this outwardly like so. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited to be using this product. I hear it works really well with any eyeshadow. It makes it really intense. Right off the bat, I can tell you that it's very tacky. And I love that because that means that my eyeshadow is really going to grip onto that base. Now that I have that on there, just to be on the safer side, I'm going to take a beauty blender and blend out those inner corners like so. And kind of lightly take it over and do the same on the other side. Now that we have a blank canvas, I'm going to go ahead and start my eyeshadow. We're going to be using the 35B Color Burst Palette by Morphe. This is a very versatile palette. As you can see, I have used and abused this bad boy. I'm gravitating more towards this purple area and this pink color right over here. And we're just going to kind of create a purple pink cut crease glitter moment. Normally, I would set my eyeshadow, but I'm not because I want to see how the paint pop really works. I want to see if it makes it stick, if it's more pigmented, and I just really want to keep the base simple. First color that I'm going to be using is that hot pink shade in the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and pack this color on first. And off rip, you guys, I could already tell that this paint pot is making the colors more vibrant. I'm going to really pack this on heavy above my brow bone, going towards my brow. Again, I'm using padding motions. And once that's all in where you want it, you can go ahead and start to use circular small motions and blow that out, soften it up a bit but you wanna make sure that you're going upwards to the eyebrow. When you get to that outer corner, make sure that you're blowing it outwardly. Don't be afraid to stretch it out because we are going to clean it up in the end. It gets messier and uglier before it gets better, I promise. So I'm done applying that pink shade, I'm going to go in with the light purple shade in the Morphe palette. And I'm just going to start packing that on directly in my crease area. And you can also like if you go like this, you could fill your brow bone. That's how you know you're hitting it in the right spot. You want to make sure that you're building your shape on by patting it like so before you go in and blend it out for maximum pigment. And also, if you have hooded eyes like me or just wrinkly eyes, make sure that you're lifting your eyes so you're getting into those creases so that way you don't see any concealer lines. You should start to see something form like this. Once you have that color in there, you want to go ahead and soften it up. You're going to start blowing it outwardly on that outer corner like so, blending it upwards into that pink shade that we did. We just really want to marry both those colors. We don't want any harsh lines. We want it to be really soft going up. Also putting the purple there is gonna deepen it up, giving the illusion of a deeper eye. You don't wanna do it too much if you are a bit older because it's gonna add age to you. It's gonna make it look like you have sunken in eyelids. And then again, towards the end, I'm just blowing that all the way out as far out as I want it. Um, if you're not comfortable blowing it out so much and you don't want so much drama on the eye, feel free to kind of keep it closer in range um, so that way you don't have a more dramatic effect. Now that that's on there, I'm going to go back in with that pink and I'm going to layer it on top and blend it in again. I just really want a smooth transition and doing this step ensures it. On the outer V, I'm just going to be tapping in that deep purple in the palette. It's the deepest purple you can find. I'm just packing that on my outer V like so.
And then once that is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and start using small circular motions and blowing that out as well. Blending it inwards. Then I'm lightly dragging that up, higher up the brow bone, closer to the eyebrow. We're starting to build depth and dimension and that's what's really gonna give you that beautiful cat eye smoky effect. You can already start to see the transition from light to dark, and that's really what we want. It's all about building depth. Now you could stop here and just cut your crease and continue on, but I want a bit more intensity, so I'm gonna take the blackest shadow in the palette, and I'm gonna really tuck it in tight right over here. So I'm just gonna tuck that black right here, deep into my inner corner where it touches my brow bone, just like so mid corner of your eye. You really don't want the black to overpower the purple shades, but that's why it's so imperative and important that we start building from light to dark. So that way when we do lay the black, it's cohesive, it's not harsh, it makes sense with the rest of the eye. And then we're just gonna lightly pack this like so. And drag this up some more. Now we're going to take that deep purple brush with no product in it. Should just have some leftover purple and just kind of soften up that black on the outer corner, smoking it outwardly. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. It does look messy, it looks crazy, but it'll get better. It'll make sense. Using my Shape Tape Concealer to go ahead and start cutting my crease. like so. I'm gonna use the back side to go ahead and start kind of blending that out. If you see I have my mouth open while I'm doing this, please mind your business. <laughs> I'm just using my finger to kind of soften up the ends. It doesn't always have to be so harsh. Now that I've cut my crease, I'm going back in with that purple and I'm just kind of Place it right over like this. And we're just gonna blend it outwardly, smoke it out. I'm gonna take that black and go right here on my outer V and really start to bring that black in. Just like that. So next, I'm just going in with this pink color to set that concealer. And really, this is going to be covered up with glitter. I'm just using this as a base color because sometimes when I put glitter on there, it's not enough and you can see the concealer under the glitter and that's not what we want. We want full glitter moment. Now that we have that base color on, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go ahead and cover it up with these bad guys right over here. These are MAC pigments. This is in the shade Pink Hologram. And then the other one is Bright Fuchsia. I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two off camera. And how I apply my glitters is that I use a eyelash adhesive over the pink and then I pack these on. Once that's nice and sticky or tacky, I'm just going to go ahead and start packing that glitter in. Now there is going to be a lot of fallout, but I clean that up later on. I have never used any MAC pigments and right off rip, I can just tell you they are beautiful. They're stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm loving this so much. And if you're anything like me, you love glitter, this is a perfect product for you. I like chunky glitters, but for this being a very fine glitter, I am absolutely happy with the payoff. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just that pink shadow to dust off any excess 
glitter on the top. Just using a fluffy brush to kind of wipe off as much excess as I can at the bottom. Now it's a little red, but I'm just going to cover it up with foundation. Just for a fun pop of color on my inner corner, I'm just going to pop in the reflective blue right on my inner corner. It kind of ties in together the look. It makes it a little bit more fun and exciting, and I love it so far. I'm going to be taking my Neutrogena wipes to go ahead and wipe off the excess on my under eye, all of that fallout, as well as lift and cut this eye. You guys, if you haven't tried these wipes, what are you doing? They are a make. This is by far the best makeup wipes that I have ever tried from any brand, and I've tried a lot of makeup wipes. I'm going to go ahead and clean this eye up and finish the other eye off camera, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and did the rest of my eyes. I went ahead and concealed using my handy dandy shape tape concealer in the color latte. I have a bunch of videos showing you guys how I do my concealer. So you guys can just watch my other videos if you want to see that. And we're just going to go ahead on to the next steps. The next product I'm going to be using is new to my channel as well. Being that you guys know I love my Huda Beauty setting powder in the color Kunafa. I'm going to be using the... Laura Marcier, or Mar I really don't even know how to pronounce it, but I just know that this is the number one powder in the United States. So I wanted to see what all the hype was about. I got a little mini one here. If I like it, I'm gonna get a bigger version of it. We're just gonna go ahead and put this on our under eyes and see how it works. So I'm gonna lightly stamp this under my, oh wow. So first impressions, I could re already feel how finely milled this powder is. This isn't the color translucent, by the way. And oh my goodness, do I love this powder. There's not a scent to it, and I'm not mad at that. I will say I am loving how this is applying and just melting into my concealer. And it's so finely milled that I really don't think I have to worry about any creasing with this. Y'all, this is melting into my skin like butter. This is so beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with this. I have a problem with smile lines, and that's where I get the most of my creasing and wrinkling. If you see when I smile, those lines right there. So I'm making sure that I am pressing that translucent powder into my problem areas. So that way it sets my concealer. So when I do smile or I move, it's not cracking, it's not creasing. And that's what we want. As well as my forehead, I get a lot of creasing. When I do like that, that number, a lot of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit as I work on my under eye. So for my under eye, I'm just going to be pressing in this beautiful sky blue shade in that Color Burst palette by Morphe, just like so all over. Now that we have that on there, I'm gonna be taking a black waterline pencil and I'm just gonna be lining my waterline. Honestly, applying a black or just any color on the waterline is really going to tie the look together. It's going to intensify it, make it sexier, a little bit more bold. Now that we have our eye, we can go ahead and brush off that excess powder. But really, I don't, <laughs> I don't really have anything to wipe off because that setting powder melted in my skin like butter. I am highly impressed with this powder, by the way, you guys. Um, it is definitely something that I would recommend that um, any makeup lover or junkie should 100% have in their makeup collection. Laura, you did that. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring. This is not a new product to my channel, but this is a new color. This is the Fit Me Pressed Powder. It's in the color 362 Truffle. I really love this. This one's a bit deeper than the other one that I have. I'm gonna use a small fluffy brush. You can use any brush that's, you know, suits your little heart. And we're just gonna go ahead and start contouring our nose. Now, again, this step is also optional. Do not feel like you have to do anything that I'm doing. I'm just showing you guys what I like to do. And if you find that you like something that I'm doing, by all means, follow suit. Once I have that general line where I want it at, honestly, I know you guys are expecting a brush. I just use my fingers 
and just kind of soften that up, blend it out, just like that, so it's not so intense. And then I take the leftover product and warm up this inner corner. And what that does, it kind of just gives me an elongated nose and makes my eyes more intense. You see what that does there? I don't know, I just love what it does. Using my JS2 brush by Jeffree Star, I'm gonna go ahead, tap that product in there, tap off the excess, and start warming up my face. When it comes, I always say start off light and build it up because if you mess up, you're gonna have to start all over again and it's better to just build up the warmth and depth that you want to see. And this actually blends in really well with that powder that I laid. Use tapping motions to kind of press that powder in there. And then I go back in and I swoop it up. You guys know I like a really, really warm temple. So I'm just gonna hit my temples like so. I just love a warm temple. I don't know. I don't know. It really does contour the face um, and it makes a difference. Everything that I do is intentional um, and I feel like that's important. Never apply a product somewhere where you just don't know because then you're just going to have products laying everywhere. Start to do my forehead. Now I do have a smaller forehead so I try not to contour so much but I do like to drag it into my hair line. I take some and tap it onto my chin because I do have like a very pointy chin and I want to soften it up, make it a, a bit rounder all around. And I do like my jawline, so I don't do too much contouring in that area. Now that we are nice and contoured, I'm going to go ahead and start blush. I'm going to be using Per Cosmetics Face Palette and they don't have any names. Um, this palette is used and abused as you can tell and I'm going to be taking this color right over here right into the apples of my cheeks like so it does have a bit of a shimmer so it kind of works as a little setup for your highlighter and it's such a beautiful shade of pink i love it so much and i use it all the time when i'm doing like a burgundy or pinky eye and really, blush just brings back that flush of color to your face and it makes it look more natural and skin-like. Now for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. It is this beautiful, 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 I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous, gold, true gold highlighter. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, this is my first time using it. And we're just gonna tuck it right here and see how that works. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my God, are you guys catching that? Look at that, that is gorgeous. I totally forgot to set my face before I do highlighter. So now that I have a little bit on on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Once you have that spray on there, I'm gonna go ahead and melt and blend everything in with this big beauty blender, just to make it more skin-like, refreshed. I'm really loving how my skin is coming out. Now that you're nice and moist, I'm just gonna ooh, put a little bit more to intensify it right there. Just gonna put a tad bit on the nose. I don't wanna go too crazy because it's very pigmented. There's a lot more yellow than there is shine, if that makes sense. And I love to put the product right here and just take it upwards like that. And just some here and a little bit here. Now, in the areas that it's a tad bit too intense, you just wanna go back in there with a beauty blender and soften that up like so. Now that I have the highlighter where I want, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. 
And then I'm pressing everything in. You're gonna see me do this all the time because I just like the end result and how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with just a brown liner from Maybelline. I'm gonna go ahead and use Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Literally and put this all over. Okay guys, so listen, I know my video cut off abruptly. That's because I had to hurry up, rush, and get out of the house to be able to go grocery shopping at a specific time because I'm always running late. I guess everything worked out the way it needed to because I also got to do like a wear test. Um, I've been out for about like three hours. And so far, you guys, I'm not mad at anything. Like my face is still in good condition. Um, normally I would have some creasing in this area. I don't really have any. I'm gonna go ahead and get in closer so that way you guys can see. Like I'm not really noticing any creasing. Um, I am breaking out here. Um, I'm not sure if that's just because of stress or heat that wasn't there before, but it's here now. And the foundation that I'm wearing was by Wet n Wild. Um, I'm sure that if I was wearing my Huda Beauty, it wouldn't be showing like this. Um, my eyeshadow is still intact after three hours, but I mean, I would expect it to be with anything else. Um, so I'm just gonna have to see how it looks after another maybe like four or five hours. The Fenty Beauty highlighter is so beautiful. It did what I needed to do. I feel like it even toned down um more throughout the day which is perfect because it's super pigmented and when you first put it on it really is like wow that's a lot but it looks a lot more subtle now i don't know if that's because of my my natural oils coming in um but i'm loving it i'm i'm obsessed with the powder um i think that it was amazing i'm obsessed with this elf putty primer i would suggest it i think everybody needs this my makeup's intact i mean I would like a little bit more coverage here, but I really think, again, I think that's a foundation issue. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got. It's nothing special. I went to Walmart to go grocery shopping, and I figured, why not pick up some stuff? Got some lash adhesive. We got to figure out how these wear. Um, I'm very picky with my lash glue simply because lash glue, um, hmm, that is going to make or break the process and how long it takes for you to put on your lashes. Um, I've never tried Black Radiance. I always stick to Milani, but they had some really pretty blushes, so I figured I'd pick some up. Which is so beautiful by Black Radiance. I'm not sure if you guys are catching that. And it's called Brick House. It's this beautiful brick color. So we have Coral Cove by Milani Cosmetics. I've been dying to try this, and who doesn't want a coral blush on their face? Hello. I went ahead and picked up an e.l.f. liner. This is H2O proof eyeliner pen in jet black. Um, I don't wear eyeliner. Um, I really don't even own any. So I just figured let's just try it with e.l.f. before we go on to like some Anastasia Beverly Hills liner or something crazy. This is not new to my collection, um, but the shade is. I have What Shady Beaches, which performed okay. It could have been a lot darker. This is the Wet and Wild Bronzer in the shade Palm Beach Ready, but it all it really looks more like a highlighter, so I'm really interested in seeing how this will wear. I also got a brow gel in the color Deep Brown. It's called Wow Brow, which is really cute. And I just needed a brow gel, so I was like, Elf, reliable. I know their products, so I just went and copped this out. And I went and got an Elf eyelash curler because I needed one. I didn't have one before and I just figured like, this is a perfect, like this is something that every girl needs. Like you need an eyelash curler every now and then to just give your, you know, your eyes a little lift. And then I love these. And then I went and picked up a Milani lipstick. Now, let me just tell you, their lipsticks are bomb.com. Like if you don't have a Milani lipstick, I'm putting you on, sis. Go out and get you one. I like deep colors. I like wines. I like burgundies. Girl, like I like brick colors. They have it 
all. A through Z, baby. So this is the color Black Cherry, and it's just like, oh, when I wear this on my lips, honey, be ready. Be ready. Okay, guys, that concludes the rest of this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please ring the notification bell wherever it's at, maybe up there, um, so you can be notified every time I post a video. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys have not subscribed. Also, leave a like, a comment down below. What's your favorite drugstore products? What would you like me to try? I'm actually buying some eyeshadow palettes today. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I know I'm buying something. So hopefully my next video, I have something really exciting for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Besitos.